discussion, I guess, uh, as, as a result of our action at the last Fulton County Board meeting, uh, the request was made to bring uh, uh, a topic back to the, the committee and perhaps to full board, uh, bring back the, uh, uh, the thought and the discussion of the uh, amendment to the solid waste plan that was uh, adopted uh, two years ago, in June the 13th. And so I, uh, I've done so. Uh, it's, on, it's on the agenda, and uh, what I've done is uh, provide the committee with a copy of the resolution and the amendments that was adopted at that time to the solid waste plan. Um, I guess I would just say this uh, leading off, uh, the, the thought process that went into that amendment uh, was very considered as far as the rationale for why the amendment was adopted at that time. It laid out in, in, in quite a bit of detail uh, 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 requirements uh, that uh, would be considered if uh, at any point a, a host agreement uh, uh, for a solid waste facility is, is brought forward. Uh, I'd also remind the committee uh, there was quite a bit of discussion in, in here about um, the fact that the alternative disposal facilities uh, would be encouraged as part of uh, consideration in the future um, and that, that, that is part of this discussion so um, the vote uh, two years ago was uh, you know decidedly in favor of uh, amending the plan and uh, so it's up to the committee's discussion here and your consideration uh, whether you uh, want to revert to uh, old language or leave the uh, plan as amended uh, stand as is. Um, mentions in the uh, the resolution or in the plan amendment, uh, the fact that uh, the, the plan itself will be up for review anyway here in, in two years, in 2017. That would be the five-year period uh, when uh, uh, an update to the plan would be required anyway. So we've got that to consider as well. So I'll leave it to the committee to, to offer some, some comments. Questions, statements? Back when we met, made the comprehensive amendment to the solid waste plan, I think this was a, this was a conversation that took up a lot of the time during the public hearing process and really the board at the time and I don't know if it was thinking this 2007 2008 but I could be I could be corrected on that but the the idea was three threefold one to have a total moratorium on on our landfills that would accept outside waste um, which was what the situation was with our landfill in the past that we only only allowed waste from Kankakee County in, the, in that landfill. Um, the second one was, you know, allowing uh, what the language is today, which was consideration of uh, solid waste facility accepting waste from outside. And the and the third option in the solid waste plan at that time was some sort of condition that was something in the middle of allowing all waste or no waste at all, but under certain conditions. Um, we would consider one. So there, that was the three conversations, if you could recall, if you were on the board at the time of the uh, data, the comprehensive update of the solid waste plan that were under consideration. So I just wanted to throw that out there as part of what um, you guys could be considering. It's a public policy decision, and um, it's up to the board to decide what direction they want to go with this with this language. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm, 
lost track of timing here. I know I was off the board for a two year period. I think that may have been when this action was taken. Um, and I, I've recently heard information in terms of what would be a possibility in terms of uh, a waste disposal that comes under new language. And it, maybe it's more than just new language. Um, what I've heard is talk about a facility that would have three parts to it. And many of you have probably already heard this, and uh, if so, excuse my repetition, but uh, for anyone that hasn't, the idea of a facility that would take care of what traditionally has been called garbage, uh, what would take care uh, at the same location, a facility that would take care of material that is recycled, such as paper, plastic, etc., and a third part to uh, an echo campus that would take care of metal. Um, this is a concept that I think that the board needs to actually look at closely, recognizing that we've had a lot of public comment uh, in opposition to a landfill as such. And as I've listened to this comment, I think we need to compliment those who have come before us, making us conscious of what are some of the downsides that we need to insist upon in terms of any action we take. Um, at the same time, I'm a bit concerned that some of the comments that we have brought before us are a result of images of garbage dumps that existed in the 1970s and the 1980s. <coughs> we need as elected officials to educate the public the difference between what happens at solid waste facilities in 2015 and what happened in the 70s and 80s. They are, from the information I have, they are not the same. The idea that you're going to have a lot of rats running around and uh, fulfilling the county with rats from all over the rest of the world uh, is outdated. The idea that uh, there's going to be huge odors permeating the entire county because of this is outdated. Uh, I have no specific knowledge of location. One of the questions that comes up is questions about uh, aquifers. Certainly, this is something the county must be very sensitive to. Uh, but I think we need to go ahead and even in the resolution I see before us, I see the use of the word landfill and the be it resolved. Um, because language is important in a resolution, I would wonder if uh, that word landfill should be stricken and replaced by echo campus. Simply because it does suggest what we, what I would be wanting in terms of the county. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any further comments? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, um, I want to try to give the actual committee members a chance to speak on this before I did, but the uh, very much appreciate Mr. Mayor's comments. I, I understand that you know uh, the, the need for good information is important uh, in this whole discussion. And, 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 and the word eco campus in this application is not good information in my opinion. That's right. Uh, the vast majority of the waste that would go into any landfill here would come from outside the area. And the vast majority of that waste is going to be in bags that will not be gone through for recyclables. That is right out of the consultants we hired to mount. It will come here bagged and it will right in the hole unless it has been separated in the transfer station outside of this area. So in my opinion, that term eco campus is lipstick on pig. That's right. So if we want to actually change the language of this, it would be appropriate under that sentiment would be to require 
that garbage will be separated before it comes here. I understand the economics of the situation. I've had long discussions on that with people in the industry and the people that we hired uh, to do this, to look at this. And in my opinion, I would much rather see this closed for two years while we decide what we want to be. Do we want to be open for business for hybrid solutions that don't involve landfilling? Do we want to be a transfer station area if the economics work out? But right now, I, I think that there is too much gray area, too much unknown, too, and really, on my part, too much known to be able to say that I would accept landfill here and call it an eco campus when it really isn't. So I hope everybody just considers that Amen. your decision to move forward. I would very much like to see the full board uh, be able to stand up and say what they stand for. So at the very least, can we send it to the full board or you send it out of this committee to the full board to see where everybody stands on it? Thank you. I think the point of the solid waste plan is it lays out criteria to be examined in a potential motion if there are particular things that this county wants in the way of mandatory recycling, uh, which types of waste are handled, what volume what limitations on volume, all those things uh, can be laid out at that point. That's the point of having, you know, having a negotiation on a host agreement. And so that, that's our opportunity to incorporate uh, limitations and desired uh, handling methods. And uh, the, the future of for waste of energy and that type of thing can be laid out at that point. And that's, that's why you need, you know, uh, why we would need a, a chance to have that conversation with uh, an applicant if that were to ever happen. So again, I, I would encourage that uh, the plan to be left alone and uh, if, if this committee wants to, to vote, uh, well, I'll have to think through how to vote here. Uh, if, uh, if the committee wants to take a stand, uh, we may have to make a motion to amend it and we'll vote negatively if that's your position. Uh, take that to the full board. But that, that, that's my thought, that, uh, that to leave that option open uh, to, to see what is available out there in the industry. That was the point of this exercise, uh, to, uh, to see what, what is possible. All right. uh, my view of um, Eco campus, uh, the landfill, whatever uh, the conversation is, what structure they want to use for calling it, what it is, uh, is that we need, I believe we need to proceed with the ability to look at an offer if we have one. To just state that no, you know, we're going to put this out of our minds for two years because it won't be talked about if it's off of our agendas, if it's out of mind, it will not be talked about. If we get an opportunity to look at somebody, we can scrutinize what they offer. And as we've just heard by the chairman, Mr. Bossert, uh, it doesn't mean we have to take anything. Any host can come here. We can turn them down because we don't owe them anything. But we owe the county and all the residents and all the entities around here in the county can keep the opportunity to a have another avenue to to manage our waste and be able to benefit from the finances of it be it start in seven years or be it start in ten years the timetable to get it finished is what the timetable is we need to allow these offers to come now rather than just wait, and that is my view. I have been here for the last uh, closing of the last land landfill uh, negotiations and communications concerning the construction of a new landfill. Dreinfeld is correct. Um, there are, and I forget who, who else, 
Benjamin. Oh, Mr. Lear. The difference between the landfills that existed in the past and the landfill that would be constructed today, and I'm using the term landfill, it's like daylight and dark. The landfills that were constructed in the past used clay as its base to prevent any leakage. That was it. Today, uh, I don't know of any landfills that don't use liners, double liners, in addition to the clay. When the garbage is brought to uh, a landfill, talking about rats and so on and so forth, each period of time that passes during the day when the landfill is being dumped in, that is backfilled and covered and it's done on a regular basis so there isn't an opportunity for anything to get into it there isn't an opportunity uh, for any kind of vermin or anything else to, to get in and build a nest or start uh, building uh, any kind of thing within those, those landfills. The landfills are uh, scientifically designed now to uh, prevent leakage for not a few years, but hundreds of years. And it's not what the federal I've traveled, I've traveled around to, to visit other landfills. There has always been the statement that it diminishes uh, property value. That has been disproved as well. So what we're looking at is a vehicle not only for disposal of county garbage, but for reducing the cost of, of the citizens of the county to dispose of their garbage. We're also looking at a significant amount of income that would come into the county that we've lost when we closed the last landfill. At that point in time, if my memory serves me correctly, we were receiving four million dollars a year for the landfill, from the landfill according to our host agreement. If I'm incorrect, someone can Correct. George, we we never uh, we, we only got a tipping fee that was twenty five cents a ton, but that went to a solid waste plan. We never had a post year. Like right. It wasn't <coughs> fee. But my whole point is this: we have had many things happen over the years that we we've been operating this county. And many of those things, most of those things have been negative as far as income to the county. So we're not just going out looking for some for something to, to um, replenish the funding of the county. We're looking for stable entities. We're looking for something that the county can do to reestablish its financial base. We have not got very stable base at this point in time. And the reason for that is, is many, like I said. We lost income uh, because of uh, government regulations. We've lost income because of the landfill. We have uh, today <coughs> what we didn't have when we had the other landfills. We have unions and those costs continue to grow. And I'm not against unions, but the cost of those unions mount up. They don't disappear. They don't go away. They don't diminish. They increase. And everything else is a cost. Jim. Unless we get off too far. I personally like what Steve Lear said. 
and I understand the, the, the comments that Andy made, and I understand that. But personally, uh, I've talked to a lot of people in the community, and we don't, and the community does not know uh, as much as they should know about an eco campus that, that uh, Steve is talking about. I don't care what you want to call it, but a total concept of re, re doing the, the, the concept of, of the dump. It's not a dump anymore. That, that operation over by Rockford, I understand they love it over there. It's a total recycling thing. And if people get that in mind, they do it at home, they're into it. And to do it at a, at a major site, I, and I know what uh, Andy referred to, the, the bags are coming in there and they're going to be dumped and buried. I wouldn't be for that for a minute. But to say we're going to sort everything out, and and this is the key to it, very, very little goes to landfill. The rest is going to China or wherever for uh, newspapers and, and whatever, oh, metals, God. recycled. The, the, the concept of Eco Campus is we don't know enough about it, and, it's, and I know the public doesn't know about it. All they don't want is the bag of garbage being dumped here from Chicago and I don't, I'm with them. I'm with them. But I am, I am for a total look at waste reduction. And I think I explained myself or not. <laughs> Going back to what Mr. Bossert said, I, I do think that this committee needs to take some formal action, whether it's I know, I know you can't reaffirm what we've already done, but I don't even know if there's anybody here that would make a motion to amend it, and then if it gets voted down, but I think we do need to do some action to show that we're continuing. I mean, we want to continue down this path or we don't. Um, my only two cents is to echo what Mr. Lear and Mr. Tritt um, have, have said, along with Mr. Wheeler, is my recommendation would be, I, I understand you know, what Mr. Einfeld said, what Mr. Mr. Washington said, and, and I understand that about look, keeping it open to look at options. Um, I understand the validity of that and the positives of that. Um, whether I'm for or against the landfill, I, I don't think we want to limit potential options. And then it's for this board to make the determination if that option is feasible or not. That's for a different discussion. Um, but I do think that everything we've talked about and the board members I've talked about, I don't think there's anybody, I shouldn't say anybody because I can't talk for everybody, but the majority of the people that I've talked with don't want to go back, just like Mr. Washington said, to the, to the way we did it in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. I don't think anybody wants to do that to where we just bring in a, an old dump where they dig a hole, they bury it, even if it's the today's standards, where it doesn't have any portion of the newer technology, the recycling component, I think everybody wants to see that. So I don't see the, I don't see the issue with amending the plan to take out any of the archaic um, past practices and say, look, this is what we want, and we won't consider anything less than this. We'll consider things better than this, but we won't consider anything less than this. Um, I'm not on this committee, so I can't make a motion, but I would like somebody to make the motion to at least amend the plan for that. Um, and then if we, it passes, it passes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but I would echo, like I said at the last board meeting, like Mr. Wheeler said, that I do think this is such a big issue and we haven't done anything with it in almost two years that it should go to the full board. Again, I would ask that this committee would send it on to the full board so the full board can discuss it and either ratify the direction we're going or amend it to a new direction either way to take a stand because we haven't done it. Um, and the community does need to know um, we have had a lot of public comment at our meetings and I think we owe it to the community to take a stand so they know where we stand. And we haven't done that in such a long time. That's just what my, my feeling is. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. You, you seem to have reached a, a crux of the discussion. Um, I would echo uh, what Mr. Whitus has said that I think based on the discussions at the county board level, it is appropriate for this committee to make a motion 
uh, in some fashion to amend the solid waste plan. How specific you want to be in that motion, I, I don't think it's all that important. And what the vote is, I, I think it, it's, it's nice to know, but regardless of the outcome of the vote, that it be then forwarded to the county board for a full discussion. It's inappropriate to file or to make a motion to, um, for lack of a better phrase, ratify or reaffirm a position on an ordinance or, or a plan that you already have in place. However, uh, a motion to amend the plan uh, with or without specificity uh, is appropriate. And if it's voted down by whatever the vote is here, uh, the committee can still agree to forward it to the county board or for review of the actions of the committee. And if somebody or a group of people or whatever at the county board level wish to uh, have take action on it, at least then it's on the agenda and action can be taken. In the meantime, uh, if you go forward in that direction, uh, between now and the county board meeting, uh, certainly my office will uh, take out the uh, plan and start taking a look at it, meet with Mr. Van Mill uh, from his office with, uh, and others from his office with regard to uh, what areas might or might not be appropriate for amendment uh, and continue to go forward at, at some point I would suggest if there's going to be an amendment uh, even if only the initial thought is to uh, I believe the phrase was reinstate the moratorium if that's just the initial thought uh, either way uh, there may be other areas that need to be looked at uh, other languages uh, that can be changed to accomplish some of the discussion that's been had here today uh, with regard to how we go forward. Certainly, if nothing else, uh, perhaps a, a more vivid and detailed statement of what is expected if a waste facility comes to Kankakee County. Uh, keep in mind that the guidelines from the state of Illinois, which require the plan, are minimal and there truly is no limitation to the level of detail uh, that the county as the county board as a as a group uh, can put into any plan it is your plan it is subject to amendment at any time um and it sounds to me like that's where you want to go but i, I just would encourage it if you're going to take this to the county board make a motion to amend in whatever level you want and, and see what the full board thinks, but a motion to reaffirm or support what we already have, what you already have, would be inappropriate. I would like to make that motion to amend the current solid waste plan. Uh, we can generalize it or we can make it specific. Just, just the motion to amend, period. Okay. 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 The motion and second that we amend the solid waste plan. All in favor say aye. 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 I'd like to share with the, the committee the, an item of information that we fall into the business. Uh, before the Community Services Committee, and most of you are undoubtedly aware of this, but in case anyone 